This shit's live. This shit's live. Hey guys, today is Sunday. I don't know what the day of the week is, or what the date is, I should say. Um, it's 11.30, I just got home from the gym and I'm making breakfast and I'm gonna do a full day of eating for you guys. Um, today is gonna be training day macros because I lifted today back and biceps and then I also did some cardio. Right now I'm doing um, a macro split, basically training day macros um, refeed day macros and rest day macros. So, um, for breakfast, what I've got so far, um, use the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt. I like to buy the 0%, um, non-fat plain, and I don't like to eat it plain. I do add a tablespoon of Splenda to it. Um, you could just buy vanilla or something, but I really prefer doing the plain and sweetening it myself. Um, love Trader Joe's Greek yogurt because it's like extra extra thick it's just like super thick um and what i added to it this is actually like i think this wild oats is a walmart brand it was pretty affordable organic ground flaxseed um i love the way flaxseed tastes in greek yogurt you guys should try this out it just gives it kind of like an oaty like delicious flavor to it and this is excellent a lot of people ask me about reaching their fiber goals and i encourage people to reach their fiber goals without just eating quest bars all day which yes makes it super easy but flax is naturally high in fiber so to use two tablespoons of this you do get four grams of fiber and a good source of heart healthy fat it's five grams of fat so it's another way to get in a little bit of fiber and fat um, through a good source so I've, I've been liking that um, so then I'm also gonna add some mixed berries to it which I think I'm low on these I've been doing like a full a full cup of mixed berries again that's going to add some fiber and some other good nutrition lots of vitamin c um, a serving is 140 grams where did i get these berries from i think these are from walmart and i love it because i just like the strawberries are so little i don't know why i just really like it but this one has strawberries raspberries blackberries and blueberries that's 84 grams so i'm going to add in just some more Wegmans berries to get 140 grams. Oh, too many. I kind of like eating them while they're a little bit frozen still. I really like frozen blueberries. I like them a lot. Um, but I'm really cold right now too, so I might wait a minute, let that sit out. You could heat up the berries too if you want, but so I'm gonna eat that mamma jamma. I'm gonna put that to the side. The other thing I'm gonna eat, because what I've been trying to do is eat like a bigger meal after my workout. That's typical of me. Um, I just prefer to have like a big meal right after I work out. I mean, I train fasted and I do that because I just personally feel better training better, training fasted, especially if I'm doing cardio first. I don't like doing cardio on a full stomach. I just feel sluggish. Um, it can be hard to get to the gym on a fasted stomach, but I just usually drink a ton before I get there. You know, branch chain amino acids, or if you're doing a pre-workout, that can kind of help fill up your stomach a little bit. Now, once you start training, you I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like feel hungry usually while I'm working out. It just depends, but so anyways, I'm gonna do three eggs. I've got, um, did I do three eggs? I did two egg whites and one whole egg. Yeah, there's just three in here. So I'm just gonna scramble that up, cook that up. And then I've got, I'm down to my crust on the Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread, which I feel like is kind of a rip off because it like ends up being really little. I feel like the macros aren't right, but we'll make it work and I'll probably pick up more of that today. So I'm gonna toast that. And I like putting my egg, my eggs on top of that toast. So I'm gonna cook this up. I'll let you guys see it when it's all done. Oh, sizzle. I haven't been using the whole egg yolk, but with my fat grams again, it's kind of a, a good place to get some fat in because there's so many good vitamins in egg yolk. Um, it's okay to eat egg whites too, but you do get a lot of good nutrition from that yolk. So if you have five grams of fat to spare, using one egg yolk would be good. Source of B vitamins. Okay, so my eggs are all done. Since I only cooked three eggs, that was super quick. I like this breakfast because it's very filling and super quick. Um, this is my Ezekiel bread with the egg whites. I just kind of split them, or the eggs, I split them in half. Then I added some tomato basil, Mrs. Dash, 
salt and pepper. And I do like to use these Velveeta cheese slices. Um, two, for two slices, it's three grams of fat and ends up being six carbs. Um, I know some people might be like, well, that's not a real food. Why do you promote that? That's not good. And look, I think all foods can fit as a dietitian, and you'll find it's funny because people like to pick certain foods they eat and comment and be like, you're a dietitian, should you eat this? Um, most dietitians you ask will promote all foods, making all foods fit, and that's where it comes in with having a healthy mindset and healthy relationship with food is not viewing foods as good or bad, which I do not. So um, for those that have been following me for a while, you guys know this, but for new subscribers, or maybe this is the first video you're checking out, um, that is what I promote on this channel. And for a good reason, the majority of people that reach out to me have health, unhealthy relationships with food because of fad dieting is, is a big cause and other reasons. Um, not saying you have to have Velveeta cheese slices, but for me, it's something that I like to add in. It adds a lot of flavor. I love it. It makes me happy that I can add something in like this to my diet. Um, and damn, I love cheese. It makes things taste so good. So, um, yeah, I added those in. I love, I might sound like a weird combo, the cinnamon raisin toast with eggs and cheese, but it's super tasty. So I'm probably gonna eat that first and let my berries kind of um, thaw a bit before I dig into that. And I've been doing more berries, been trying to get in more carbs post-workout. My carbs are pretty high right now. Um, I'm gonna be eating 170 today is the goal. Protein 115 to 120 and fat is 40. So I've been trying to eat more carbs post-workout after a lift. Um, just makes sense to me, but also my body does crave it. Some people don't like to eat a big meal in the morning. I actually prefer to front load my, eel, my meals and eat more like first thing. I'd rather eat like a huge ass meal and eat more throughout the day and kind of finish my meals earlier into the night. So good chow down, pretty excited. This is a good combo, I swear you guys should try it. My cheese is sticking to the roof of my mouth. Don't film that. <laughs> Not a fan of crust. Not into the crust pieces. Then you do this with your finger. You get all the seasonings. I don't like that. <laughs> a dork. Okay, are you zooming in on me? So we just got back from running errands and I'm gonna cook my next meal. Um, I'm gonna do a stir fry. So I've got over here Trader Joe's 96 for extra lean ground beef. I've just got four ounces of that. I don't know how well ground beef goes in a stir fry, but it sounded good to me, so I'm gonna make it work. And then I picked up Trader Joe's makes an already cut up vegetable stir fry and it was pretty affordable. This has a ton of servings in it and I already have three servings in my bowl here. It's like three bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and I was kind of in the mood for a stir fry. Um, so I've got one tablespoon of olive oil in here heating up. Um, I measured out three servings of the vegetables which ends up being a cup and a half. I picked out all the mushrooms because I think mushrooms are nasty. I know they have good health properties but uh, they're probably one of the few foods I actually don't like. There's not many foods I don't like. So I'm gonna stir fry these up. And then for sauces, um, I picked up this sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. That has six carbs in it in a serving. And then we stopped at Wegmans too and I got this stir fry sauce. And that has six carbs in a serving. Um, a little bit higher in sodium, but it's all good. So I might add a combo of each of those and a little bit of ground ginger as well. So I'm gonna cook this all up right now and show you what it looks like when it's all done. I'm pretty excited. So my stir fry is all done. I ended up just adding the burger to it once it was done cooking and then I also added a serving of the instant Uncle Ben's long grain, what is it, wild rice or whatever? Brown rice mix. So I just mix that all together with the seasonings and I'm gonna eat this now. Um, 
You guys, if you don't have ginger in your cupboard, you should take a look at getting that. There are tons of proven health benefits associated with ginger. It has a lot of medicinal uses, um, especially known for like, if you're nauseous, think about when you're a kid, you drink ginger ale, right? So actually having like the real ginger is thought to help with digestive, di any digestive issues that you may be having. Um, protein cheesecake's done. Um, and nausea, it's good for your, um, what else? Good for tons of stuff. I was looking at it earlier, but it's something I learned more about my integrative nutrition course. So I'm trying to incorporate those types of things into my diet a little bit more because I was so sick for like a month, just could not get better. So things like that can help a little bit with your health and your immunity. So I'm gonna give this a try right now. And usually on Sundays, I tend to eat like three meals. Mm. that is tasty um it's funny because during the work week i do eat smaller more frequent meals but on the weekend like when we're running errands or i go to the gym for a little bit longer it's easier for me to kind of have three bigger meals um so that's probably going to be what i end up having today so i'll probably have one more meal after this cheesecake calls all right guys, so I am having my last meal right now. Um, I actually got really busy and kind of lost track of how much I still had to eat. So I tried to just get it done in my last meal here and I did a pretty good damn job with it. Sometimes it's hard to hit those numbers perfectly. Um, so what I've got is my big ass bowl here and I made a big ass salad. So I've got in here a serving of the crew cruciferous crunch salad mix from Trader Joe's, a half a serving of the butter lettuce that was kind of starting to go bad, starting to get a little brown. I've got four ounces of 99% um, ground turkey burger in here. I've got these little guys here are pomegranate seeds. Super delicious. It's actually not that hard to get the seeds out of a pomegranate. Um, YouTube that if you don't know how. But Trader Joe's does just sell the seeds, so you don't have to deal with all that BS. So I've got three ounces of pomegranate seeds on there. And I still had some protein to hit, so I threw in some fat-free um, basil tomato feta cheese. And for dressing, I love that I can still use regular fat dressing. I've been using the cranberry and walnut gorgonzola Trader Joe's dressing. It's delicious. You do just have to allocate the fact that it's got some carbs in it, which I'm totally good with because I feel like my carbs being at like 170 is a good amount for me. I'm not a huge person, I'm five foot two. So it's nice to be able to use like some condiments like you saw me use with my earlier meal and not worry about it like taking up some of my carb macros. Um, so yeah, big ass salad, gonna eat that. It's probably gonna take me a while. And that ends my day at 112 protein. So I got very close. Um, 171 carbs and 41 fat so pretty close um, got my macros in pretty good I'm still tracking in my fitness pal um, for those that have been asking I am still tracking and this is gonna conclude my full day of eating and three square meals sometimes that's just how you do it and there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to eat five small meals a day do what works best for you like I mentioned weekdays I tend to eat like that but on the weekends because I'm out and about and doing so much, three meals just works better for me. So, you know, do it, do you, all right? Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Get all your Tiger Fitness needs at tigerfitness.com. You guys can use the discount code Kara for 5% off. Keep checking back for more. Um, my skin in the winter time gets really, really dry. This actually feels pretty amazing on my face. I'm gonna flip this around here. See so if we had a nice close up. That's so creepy. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting ready for bed ish. And Jason's been in a really bad mood, so I'm wondering if I go in and surprise him with my Freddy Krueger face. If we 